the uh, screen yeah you read on the screen so you might you can on your um, mic if you want to talk to or you want to ask something there yeah? sometimes if you just uh, write something on the chat session perhaps i can catch up uh, uh, the thing that you are uh, concerned uh, your concerns okay i'm going to uh, uh, jump to the uh, topic um, the last topics that was on the example if i'm mistaken so i'm going to stop this sharing i'm going to stop and uh, i'm going to share with you another one uh, on the pdf uh, pdf uh, where are you pdf this one yeah this one I'm going to share with you this uh, example number two and this example number two is basically coming from the internal combustion engine and the graph provided here is basically the simplification of the actual thing or actual graph which you already aware that the graph is all is is represented by all the curvy curvy line it's not a straight line graph yeah the reason we try to simplify the graph because we want you to calculate the area under curve without applying trigonometry. You just can calculate by using triangle or, or, or rectangle or perhaps square. Huh? Uh, so that make your performing on calculating is correct. Huh? Uh, after all, the objective of this uh, turning moment diagram is to look at or to calculate the area under the curve, and we believe that the area under the curve is basically represented by the work done or energy um, on the system. Okay, now let's go. Uh, you know, uh, I, I know that I really I got the completed part of the solution. I would like to re highlight that we highlight that the, the thing that we studied earlier. Huh? So, um, so allow me to uh, share another one. This one, okay, this is what you have here, uh, and I'm going to uh, recapture the thing that we discussed earlier based on this uh, example. Okay, based on the example. So you have the example you, you have the solution you, you can turn to page 220 uh, to look at the solution uh, or perhaps you can also look at the solution on the material that I provide you earlier. Okay, first is um, you have to understand that this is the graph, this is the graph of internal combustion and you because the question tell you so. Uh, and uh, because you have two, uh, remember, you have two applications, one with the internal combustion engine, which we call ICE, the other one is TMD, uh, sorry, MDM, one is internal combustion engine, one, yeah, and number two, you have motor drive machine. This internal combustion engine sometimes drive a vehicle, sometimes drive any engineering um, uh, appliances, uh, engineering, you know, uh, component or whatever it is uh, perhaps internal combustion engine uh, 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 run the compressor turbines and so forth okay so this is all this one input in the input is Indian the input is Indian of course this one is the input is motor this one the input is Indian you give the constant sorry you provide you in uh, a fluctuating or perhaps I put it here variable variable input top. this one to provide you put it in zap 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 put it there yeah. this one to provide you input motor to provide you constant input top. okay so as the input varies of course the resistance will be constant Will be constant as the input constant here yeah, so the resistance which coming from the in a uh, 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 machine perhaps is variable is varies isn't it uh, the, the this one is coming from the from the machine is varies this one perhaps coming from the vehicle Okay, so now, so if you can read the equation back, you found that the presented graph here is coming from the internal combustion engine, isn't it? And the given graph, this one coming into the combustion engine is correct. The given graph is basically represented by the top of an engine. Because it keeps, this one is right, 
keep variable so it will keep variable here so where will be the resistance talk it will not provide here so remember the turning moment diagram turning moment diagram you must have two graphs isn't it you must have two graphs one graph representing input talk the other one the other graph representing resistant talk resistant talk here it simply mean that they provide you input talk there is so the resistant talk if you can put another color here so they can you can easily differentiate this one i put another color the blue color here this one is uh, uh we, we call it the um this one input talk this one will be constant yeah it is not in the graph so you have to so you need to draw on your own on your is it so you need to draw on your own so now i'm going to draw the team in now because we don't have it sorry i'm going to draw the line we do not know where the line will stop so now put it here another line coming from the resistant okay as this one will be basically constant so you will have timing any constant this one timing this one also timing so you this one you have timing this one also have timing so we have another graph representing the whole lot this one up to the end of the graph if the guy end up here for example so we will up to here but remember our mission here as you look at the equation earlier our mission is to look at only one cycle uh, that is why you have to look for one cycle so now look for one cycle remember that look for one cycle how do you how sure are you one cycle is it's easy isn't it so if the the the, the graph uh, the graph given is repeating the whole activity or the line perhaps so it will be considered another cycle for example here look at here we have from negative 40 constant up to pi then we'll shoot down negative 100 constant again it will shoot up overshooting this one with 300 then constant bank will shoot down again uh, uh you know at 3 pi then it will start all over again it? it will start all over again so i presume that the the team in, oh, sorry it's not team, the the graph represented for one cycle will be will be end up or will be will be and yeah this one is one cycle one cycle or internal combustion engine or in internal combustion engine you remember you have two type of engine right one will be two cylinder sorry one one will be two stroke the other one is four stroke for the first stroke you have what four pi so will end up at four pi for the internal combustion engine so now we are going to focus only the graph here this part, graph and we are going to focus only the graph represented by the by the vehicle or whatever it is okay that is the the recapture that we have learned. so if you can understand this one whatever you learned earlier last uh, week yeah you can it, it now will be uh, uh discussed huh? already discussed it you can understand this one the rest is very easy so remember only one cycle so the next one it perhaps be the question asking what will be the team in because we need to know what team in is this one what the team in here we do not know what team in is here so we need to know what team in is so how to define team in okay to find team in to find the mean to use the energy the conservation energy or the equilibrium uh, uh, equation use cons uh, uh, conservation of energy or energy conservation how is it it's not very difficult T theta coming from the input which is coming from the uh, it's not motor sorry as the one is the engine yeah coming from the engine is equal to t theta which we don't know because it doesn't mention but uh, you know it, it uh, drive whatever it is so put it in your resistance remember the resistance is constant so the engine now if you look at the engine you have to what you have to 
you have to calculate every single area under the curve so now what you have here what do you have here so you can calculate the one you can also refer to your books yeah you find that this one is 40 isn't it this one is pi so you have negative 40 pi plus we have another one negative 100 pi right then you go up here plus 300 pi the top here the whole area under the curve then you have what the small portion of the graph this one is negative 20 oh, sorry is equal this one is negative you put it uh, plus negative 25 or perhaps you can put any area below origin it become all negative eh? so it's, it's up to you okay it's up to you so equal to the graph represented by the green line which is t mean t mean we do not know what t mean is multiplied by 4 pi okay it's not very difficult isn't it so this one you add up together there so this one 40 uh, 100 uh, 30 and uh, another 20 you'll be getting what 140 this one is 140 by this one yeah equal to t mean by 4 by so you simplify that will give you t I mean is equal to 35 newton Okay, you put it here. Okay, now it's 35. Is it right? Yeah. Okay, now, now you can do what? Now you can do the energy, energy analysis as every parameter are now given. So to define energy and say you need to know what T mean is. So the question keep asking you about what? The question asking you about this one, yeah? Power developed by the uh, uh, by the Indian, for example. So it's not very difficult. Power is always this one is power. Yeah? It's always power of Indian. Always t this one m mean omega mean. So you have as such. You can check in your notes. They provide you all a solution. Huh? So the omega given here is omega in radian uh, uh, in up here. This one is omega given here is omega here this one is here and another one is here so you need to define what n mean is equal to this 315 plus 285 285 divided by 2 which will give you 300 rpm convert it become omega omega mean 2 pi n by 60 Yeah, I'm not going to do that the one, yeah. So, yeah, so you have the solution. You, I'm going to explain how the the uh, what uh, the thing that basically not uh, presented in your notes, huh? Okay, complete one. You get uh, if I can check uh, your result, you'll be getting a one kilo watt. That's the answer. So number two here, what is the equation for number two? The power developed correct, the mean correct. We've done this one. Power correct, and last but not least is. The mass moment of initial I. Uh, so the mass moment initial from from beta E is equal to E max minus E min is equal to I alpha omega min power of two. So if you want to define what be the I here, so you just manipulate the pair with a windy equation. So they provide you beta E divided by alpha omega min power of 2 or equal to e max minus by e min divided by alpha omega min power of 2. So basically in conclusion, you cannot run away from defining the energy energy. So if I can put a notes here, notes here. So this one, the e max by e min is coming from the energy analysis. So how is it? You have to go back to the go back to the uh, turning moment diagram. So we only calculated earlier. Provide you as such. So this is your team in now. 
which will give it 35 newton meter end up here and we'll stop at four five for one cycle this is one cycle So you will have a new area below and above the mean. So the, the area will be this one. Uh, this is a new area for energy analysis. So we have another one at top. This one will be at the at bottom. So this one for energy analysis. Any question? Is it right? It's not very difficult. Huh? Of course, you need to practice. Huh? Okay. So what? What is the? What will be the next uh, thing? Is to what to check on the intersection point. This one, the intersection point. Put in another color so that can uh, make you easy to refer back. Yeah, this one here, here, and also here, and put it a. Uh, Notation A, B, C, and D. And this is the internal combustion engine. Internal combustion engine. As you have this one. So any area above the mean will consider what? Negative and positive? Any, any area above the mean consider positive or negative? Anyone? Positive. Thank you. So this one positive. This one is negative. So you do you have this one all negative part. Then start doing this one. Okay, energy analysis. This one is energy analysis. How is it? It's not very difficult. Put it as a bit small. Yeah, this one. It's not very difficult. Let's start. Let you or let energy at a equal to u. i'm going to do this one in shortcut way yeah so let energy at a is equal to u this one a equal to u then you go the next thing you you know you go the next thing is b p p isn't it so b will be u minus this one the whole thing if you calculate this one you will have this one the small point uh, this the first portion is 35 by 40 will be 70 pi pi plus the second portion will be 135 is 100 and if i you simplify this one so that will give you u you will have this one is negative 2 10 pi. then you go next is c is equal to u minus 2 10 pi plus here you have 300 minus by 3 minus by 35 you will have 265 pi isn't it? So this one is simple mathematics. It will give you u minus uh, plus 55. Go to the next one for d is equal to u plus 55 pi. You have in your mind that now, basically, and here is equal to u plus uh, u plus zero or u equal to zero. You already know in your mind, yeah, because we are what we are doing this one by using the principle of conservation of energy so this one is u equal to zero so then we move on to d here isn't it d here so you have uh, uh, u plus 55 minus by you have 35 by 20 will be 50 by 5 now equal to u plus zero then it is correct because from u to u here so energy is conserved put it here energy is conserved but do not put E is C. This one put in, in full sentences. Yeah, Energy is conserved. Then you start selecting what? Start selecting all the E max and E min. So you, you check all the numbers at the value. So this one U plus 0. This one U plus 210. This one U minus. So this one becoming negative. This one is E minimum. And we have another one. This one. E maximum. So then put it here in your equation. So you will have beta E. Of course, you need to mark, uh, you get one with alpha, and also you need to define by the omega uh, omega mean. Supposingly, the all the alpha and uh, omega mean are already provided, or you calculated. Eh? So you can easily look at the uh, I now. Uh, or perhaps I put it here, beta E. Yeah? 
Beta A now, beta A is equal to A max will be U plus 55 pi minus by U minus 210 pi. U and U cancel. So this one plus and uh, negative and negative become positive. So you want to 265 pi Newton meter or joules. It's not very difficult, isn't it? So you can put this one now, bring it here and put it in this equation. Of course, alpha, you can calculate alpha by, by, by knowing what will be the n max. Is it n max minus by n mean divided by n mean. You get the alpha in the uh, notes, you, you be getting um, 0 0.1. Eh? 0.1 or in other, other words, it become 10 and percent. You know the omega mean as calculated uh, uh, in the very beginning of your solution earlier just now. And then it's 2 pi by 300 by 60, you have a number. So basically, you get your i. So if you get your notes here, yeah, check note is 4, 8 meters squared. So this one, you go back here, you have the solution with you. You have this one. Uh, it, you can check in, on, in your books. Uh, Eight point four four kilogram kilogram meter. Okay. So that is not very difficult. Uh, this is not very difficult. So I'm going to share with you today. Oh, I'm I'm going to share with you today a shortcut way. A shortcut way. This one shortcut way. I'm going to open up another one. Another file. This one put it there. Shortcut way. Or put it the alternative solution. Okay, before doing this one, I'm going to explain to you one thing. Yeah. So, so look at turning moment diagram. The this is theory. The theory. Yeah. So, turning moment diagram. So you have two turning moment diagram A and B. So if A here, for example, presented here. in newton meter this one of course in pi in radian you have another graph put it in another color here put it in another color here so you can easily differentiate uh, same graph was up perhaps this one is timin this one also timin this one be Newton meter, this one in radian by in radian. Look at it, you have two graph overshooting of the mean, right? Isn't it? Uh, and instead, you have another one. Put another color, put another color, put another color here. Yeah. You have a single area. So put notes here, notes. This alternative solution is all stuff with the big S here. My writing a pet here uh, not very stable at the moment, yeah. Is uh, the alternative solution is valid. Uh now put the big here. For get here for uh, sorry, it's not for spell it <clears throat> when only one area above the you understand me, class? So, this one, if I can share with you here. This one you have how many area? You have two area. This one how many? You have one area. Two areas, one area. So this one 
is not valid this one is valid do you understand you're not do you understand? do you clear is that clear class yes or no so now valid then we go back to our solution earlier just now. What do you have earlier just now? We go back to our solution. If I can make it bigger here, zoom in a bit. So we already calculated here. Yeah, you have a graph. And this is end up at four. This one is the area that we concern. So if you look back, what you have in the turning mode diagram gives an only one area overshooting. So this one, one area overshooting or above. So it is valid. As it is valid, so beta E now is equal to this one. What you have is 300 minus by this one is 35 just now 35 by pi so which will give you 265 newton meter or joules is that clear it's very simple right compared to the first one this one is a shortcut way and remember my advice if you really really need to you know to uh, complete this solution and you have you don't have you're running out of time use this one if you have ample of time use as normal normal uh, uh, solution but you can always make it as an as your your counter check eh, to check your result. So you have you'll be getting the same result as what you have earlier. Is that clear? Is that clear, class? Hello. Yes, thank you, Lee. Thank you, everyone. That respond. So the, the, the next solution, uh, next you know, uh, next calculation is uh, next calculation. One as usual. Okay. Any question? Any question? No. Okay. Thank you. So, the next thing I'm going to to describe with you is to look at another another examples uh, this one so if there's no equation so i'm going to i'm going to move to the next example this one and again you also have this one solution uh, with you yeah your solution with you you can read solution from books or perhaps you can also check the solution from the uh, additional material that i provide you in notes eh? uh, this one we are going to focus on uh, uh, the motor drive machine or sometimes we call it MDM. It's a motor drive machine. Okay. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to this one, put another color here. Uh, sorry, uh, open another file here. So, so that I can make use this one here. Okay, now. So um, look at it very careful. If I can, is is uh, as I completed this one. So um, so uh, you know uh, the whole thing will be uh, not not uh, can uh, the whole thing will be uh, you're responsible to finish up all the tutorial and before I start giving you deadline of uh, of submission of the uh, tutorial. So what you have here is a figure below here. This one, yeah, this one. You have to read this question very very careful. Figure below show the a variation variation of required torque on a driving machine during one cycle operation. So it simply means that this one already one cycle. So the bold line is to end. It does not end up by six, but it end up at seven, isn't it? So this one will be presented here is one cycle. Now put it here as one cycle. One cycle, one cycle. Okay, uh, the shaft is direct coupled to an electric motor, so the the motor is not is not presented here. So this is from the machine. 
of the machine. Uh, the motor is always what? Constant. Uh, so uh, with exact constant torque, run and mean speeds of 300 RPM. To minimize a fluctuation of speed, uh, a flywheel of uh, a flywheel of mass 200 kg with radius of direction 0.4. This one is to look at I. Remember I M K square. Um, for this condition, determine number of punching operation produces in one minute time. In one minute, then maximum fluctuation of uh, uh, energy is beta. Put it this one n. Then power developed is p. Coefficient of fluctuation speed is alpha. This one maximum minimum speed will be the n max and also n. So this is very typical equation uh, in motor drive machine. Okay, so I'm going to give you another another slide here. So to define number of punching, this is not in your notes. Yeah, this is not in your notes because there's no notes talking about number of punching one minute because sometimes it is not one minute, sometimes it is one hour, sometimes in one month, sometimes in one year, for example. So there's no standard or general equation, but you have to understand how to define the number of punching. For example, you're talking one minute. One minute you have for n is equal to 60 by t. 60 because why? 60 because? 60 because one minute. If you're talking about one hour, it is not going to be 60, it's going to be 3600 divided by t. Okay, t will be time taken for one cycle. Uh, this one, time taken for one cycle. n will be number of punching. The 60 is due to, due to one minute operation. Okay, so now you have this one, the result. Then you what you simplify the equation. So you have theta is equal to omega t. What you need is to look at what t is, isn't it? So you, you use this equation. Then you have theta. Remember this one. Theta is what you be you you've been be calculated. So I've also been given here. So supposingly you do not read the equation very carefully, yeah. Instead of taking theta now, theta equal to instead of taking theta as instead. Of taking theta equal to 7 pi by mistake you have taken theta by 6 pi it is not correct because even though there is no this one is zero top is zero top this one is zero top no top and eh? zero top but counted as one cycle okay now why zero top but counted in one cycle. Why? So I'm going to ask this one. If you, if anyone answer or respond, I will explain to you. Otherwise, I will just leave it at that and it's become to your attention to look at why this one zero but counted is one cycle. So anyone? You don't want to respond, so I will leave it there. So you check on, on your own, yeah? Why? Uh, the cycle is repeating, no, uh, still rotate, uh, uh, yes, Aisha, can still, uh, Aisha, Aisha question is can, uh, can consider, uh, anyone, I, I, I can't read because uh, the, the pop-up, the pop-out, uh, you know, um, um, thing that you write is very fast, so I can't read all, so anyone can speak up, yeah? So, uh, because complete cycle to 7 pi, how do you know complete cycle 7 pi? Because you know that this one, no, this one zero, zero talk, zero talk. This one is zero talk. But still counted as one cycle, why? I'm, I'm saying why, huh? I'm asking you why. Otherwise, if you look at the, the talk here, it's all, it will be end up at pi pi here. Yeah. This one is zero, zero talk. So from six pi to seven pi, is zero top so why this one counted anyone one okay, so no one you want one you check on your own why and because many many equations this one uh, given by the equation yes of course given by the equation by why i'm i'm asking why why this one is not counted uh, sorry but why this one is counted in one cycle uh, why 
Anyone? A uniform rotation is not correct. Last one. If you respond this one, then I will count for you. I explain to you details. Because the input is still the same. The input is still the same. It's not. Is that done? <laughs> So not correct, then, huh? Okay, never mind. Okay, I, 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 basically, if you answer wrongly, it's still okay as long as you can, you know, participate in my class. So look at this way. So this one is um, machine. I'm not good in drawing machine. Remember, this one is your tool bit. This one is your workpiece. This one, put it here, your drilling machine. Okay, from the position of tool bit reaching the workpiece, there is a space here, isn't it? You switch on. You This one, switch on. You switch on the motor. The motor will be rotating, correct? So the, the minute you, you, want, you, bring, you want to bring down the tool bit, Reaching the workpiece, so the this one is ready. What this one is ready? This one is ready, working, operating. So this is what we call as this is what we call as, uh, uh you know, um, uh, preparation time. Preparation time. Zero talk. Okay. Number two, then number one. Number two now, as you finish. Finish drilling. The drill bit or the machine or the motor here is still rotating, isn't it? It's still rotating. Yeah? Then you bring up, you bring up to the original position. Right? So no talk, but the machine still running. So this is what here presenting is that clear? So that is why even though there is no talk, it's still counted as one second. Then after reaching the original position, this one is the original position, yeah. Then you switch off. Correct or not? It's a logic, isn't it? It's so logic. So this one is preparation time, the first thing. So this one preparation time when you have what? When you have when you have a graph, a zero here, then the start. So this one will be there's no talk but still counted. We call it preparation time. This one we call it as finishing. Is that clear? Hello? Okay, yeah, okay now. So as you have to understand, it will end up at 7 pi. This one. The next calculation will be this one. So that is why you have to use 7 pi here divided by the omega, then you have 0 0.7 second. And the 0 0.7 second, this one will be end by 0 0.7, you have 85 point. 71. So you have 85.71. You have n is equal to 85.71. We are not talking about numbers or, or integers, we are talking about product. So the product will be 85. So the last whole, for example, it is the unfinished product. So we counted only this one, eh, 85 is the what they call it, the uh, uh, Two numbers, eh? the two numbers. Eh? Uh, this one is uh, for, uh, with decimal places. Eh? This one, it, it is not not eighty six. Don't round up the eighty six. No, because you are talking about products. Eh? The last one is the unfinished products. If you give this one, mine, you get minus one half. You get this one, sometimes minus one half, sometimes minus one. You basically do not understand what is what is the numbers of products. 
okay to allow minimal uh, deduction please eh? read the equation very very careful okay so that is the first part so the second part the equation asks us to define one the uh, maximum fraction energy is beta e uh, again to look at the beta e uh, how how is to define beta e you have to look at the what t mean you run beta e, you need to know what t mean is what is the t mean now so t mean is here you have the t mean here so t mean is basically the area the actual area this one is coming from the machine this one is coming from the motor which is not in the graph but you have to draw on your own on your own this one is coming from the motor this one is the area of the motor given by t means 7 pi this one is calculated by the machine is the machine this one is the so if you put this one overlapping or perhaps we call it superimposed you've been you've been getting as, as this one so as you do the calculation you find that you'll be getting seven sorry 457.14 <coughs> excuse me newton meter that is your t t mean okay so the equation to look at t mean remember yeah the equation to define t mean is by using this one t theta by moto is equal to t theta by machine the motor is always give you give you what constant parameter so that will give you t mean multiplied by seven pi this one will be the area of the given graph this one given okay so you have the result with you okay the next one is to define what ah, this the next one is to define what the energy analysis so look at the energy analysis so i will provide you this one energy analysis okay so to define the energies is to check on the intersection point this one is the intersection point between the lines of motor and also machine this one intersection 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 another intersection so you have the because we are dealing with what we are dealing with motor drive machine so any area above the mean will be considered as negative below area will be considered as positive so you you know put this one so this one is positive negative this one is positive calculate this one but you know that you have a line cross the horizontal line here so you need to know what b i use this one we call it a similar triangle If you are doing this one in PV diagram, yeah, this one. If you are doing PV diagram, what does this call it? In PV diagram, pressure and volume diagram in thermodynamics. What does it call it when you want to look for something? Anyone? Hello. In PV diagram, if you want to find the results of from the PV diagram, remember, you use S in what? Interpolation. Basically, it's a similar triangle or some call magic triangle. Magic triangle. So use this one at a similar triangle or magic triangle, whatever you have in, in, in based on the uh, uh, triangles, yeah? you will have x equals 0.29 pi, a small portion of this one. Then only you can do all the equations. So finally, if you go back to the, uh, uh, if you go to the solution here, Look at here the solution. Don't worry, don't worry about, about uh, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, copy this one. Yeah, you have this one in your notes. Yeah, I put it in in the group. All you you have your books on page uh, two hundred and twenty three, two hundred and twenty four. Huh? Look at your book on page two hundred and twenty four. After run all the calculation from point A to point D here. Then you have a such calculation and then you start selecting all the maximum and minimum this one is we select this one as minimum this one you select as maximum then you 
put in the equation beta e is equal to e max minus by e e min. It's not very difficult, isn't it? So you'll be getting as such. And finally, this will be your results. This will be your result beta. Okay. So equation number uh, uh, number two uh, number number two complete. Number three is not very difficult. Number four uh, coefficient of function is also alpha not bigger. The uh, maximum and minimum speed also not very difficult because you can do this one on your own. Or if I can share with you uh, the solution in your books, yeah, you can read on your books. Look at this one, glass. This one, beta E, then you have the energy calculation. Then I will I will explain to you the uh, alternative calculation later on. This one, the power developed by the motor. Then you have the coefficient of alpha. Then you have the maximum and minimum speeds eh, of, uh, 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 of the system, of the motor, for example. And uh, I, was, I already mentioned about margin no one dare to answer about margin so you have to look on your own what is margin eh? speed margin energy margins and so forth so what is margin talking about margin big one or small margin is good or not so you have to read on your own because you don't basically basically interested to know what is margin is about as i mentioned uh, asking you last uh, last week eh? okay now i'm going to uh, give you uh, alternative to define uh, what is the uh, what is the uh, what is the what what is the go back yeah i'm going to bit yeah i'm going to this one is example number three yeah i'm going to example number three number three Okay, now this is the alternative solution this one is the alternative solution of calculating the beta do you understand do you interested to know this one or no class Thank you, Aisha. Thank you, Kong. You know, look at here. What is the, our theory just now? We say that when you have one area above teaming, isn't it? Then valid. This one, yeah. One area above teaming, then valid. So look at here. So you have only one area above teaming. This is your teaming above teaming. So it is valid. So if you want to look at what will be the beta E, so what you have to do is beta E is equal to area under the curve. So you have half. This is the trapezium, uh, 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 you know, calculation. Yeah? You have half. Uh, you have this one is, if this one is 0. Point, this one, yeah, 0. 0.295, pi, a small portion. So you have another one. This one is 1.71 pi. This one is 2 pi. Correct. Isn't it? So you will have, okay, you have 2 pi plus 2 pi plus 1.7 pi multiplied by the 800 minus by 457.14. So you will have, inshallah, the same result from what you have earlier, which is 3075.2 3, newton meter. Can you check on? Can you check for me, plus? Huh? Can you check for me, plus? It is correct or not, sir? Huh? Then the next calculation will be um, as usual. Huh? This this calculation is only to provide what will be the beta e. Otherwise, you need to calculate every single intersection point between the lines. Eh? 
between these the two lines of machine and also motor correct or not anyone thank you um yes so you can use this one or you can use a normal procedure of the so that will be that will be the uh, the uh, you know uh, the uh, solution uh, from what you have earlier uh. and if i can share with you again this one this one is not uh, very difficult really really we already discussed about this one is it why you divided by two why do you divide it by two? there is why yeah, if you read question some question they provide you let's see here they provide you uh, two parameter uh, one minute yeah. Uh, they provide you this one uh, this look at it they provide you plus and minus so alpha is equal to plus minus three percent what does it mean what does it mean so alpha is basically remember from the highest to the lowest this one is correct this one is mean and mean this one is n max this one is n mean so this is alpha correct so we have three you have as your three percent and another three percent this one is positive this one is negative this negative and positive is not to to show you the integers is basically to show you the position one will be at top the other one will be at the bottom so in here what what would be your alpha could anyone tell me what do you have for alpha you, of course you can check on your your notes yeah or your solution yeah so what will be your alpha now Your alpha will be your alpha will be yes anyone is what anyone it's not zero point zero it's not zero point zero three your alpha will be anyone yes correct it's six percent so you have to read the very very careful and you have to understand what is alpha remember alpha the equation of alpha equal to n max minus by n min divided by n min and that is the alpha isn't it uh, so you have to understand the equation and you have to also know uh, how to use the equation okay i think that's about it uh, of uh, uh, the uh, uh, examples uh, discussion so the next thing we're going to look for this one i'm going to run this one from your notes you can turn to page uh, you have the solution with you uh you turn to page 100 and 226 this one is a couple of semester uh couple of semester in your exam equation uh, i don't know i i forget i forgot yeah when when the, when is the actual date a couple of semester so if you read the equation here, yeah, uh, they always mentioning about look at here, constant torque motor. So this one is motor drive machine, isn't it? Uh, this one is main speed 300 drive a machine that it required the torque increasing uniformly from 600 to 2000. This one from 600 to 2004. Uh, in the next 45, next 45 here, then constant is constant. Then remaining 180 in each revolution, the remaining 180 in each revolution, the described activity shown in this turning diagram. So from the diagram, find the output uh, output power of the motor. So it basically to define output power motor is what? Is to define, to define what? You want to, to find uh, output power is the power of the motor. So P motor must be equal to T motor omega motor. Basically, you need to know what B, B mean. And again, as I mentioned earlier, T mean is very, very important parameter uh, doing of uh, uh, no calculating uh, the equation or getting the equation results. Huh? OK, so you can read this one on your own. Uh, I'm not going to do this one. Or you can read and also you can check on your own. I'm going to present, I'm going to explain to you uh, in one second, for one cycle. So where would be for one cycle end up at where? End up at where class? 
anyone will be the one cycle considered here 180 or 360 where it's not 180 yes the whole thing because it doesn't mention about anything just so you have the whole thing so we'll end up to from here to the whole this one this is the area under the curve area under the curve For the motor, sorry, for the motor is here. This one, yeah. So if the equation basically asking about the whole thing, so you need to calculate the whole, the whole arrangement of the equation. So it basically, you know, the whole things because remember this one. This one is two pi. If you have the solution, you can check on your solution, yeah. Uh, as for today, I'm going to share with you we have another hour here so this example seven uh, look at here example seven is at the moment at the moment next semester inshallah will be introduced to student yeah? at the moment not in your syllabus in your topics yeah? it's not the syllabus in your topics this one at the moment graph like this it will not in your topic so your you will be concerned about your topic will be concerned up to example number number six. So next master, so we are going to introduce to you as this one. Then you start using integration of to define what will be the area below the graph and above the graph. Huh? Okay, uh, I'm going to move on. On example on to uh, a tutorial so the first one is not ready we come going to this one uh, the second one now I'm going to use uh, the second one uh, I'm going to do the second one so before that yeah before that if I can go back here because I just remember this one if we go back to the uh, earlier solution perhaps I can use this one I'm sorry about this one uh, because I uh, forgot about sharing this one with you uh, Maybe in the air. One minute, yeah? One minute, one minute. Uh, where are you? We got, we we just now calculated 8.44. This one, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one. You have this one in your note also. If I not, you know, this kind of class, you have, so you have in your notes, yeah? This one is further equation. Typically in the exam, they're asking you. This one is the CTPS, critical thinking problem solving equation, yeah? What is about is about if the initial mass mole initial is four kg. Initially, the system have only four kilogram meter square. What would be the required mass mole initial should be added to the system to minimize the fluctuation of spin energy or to stabilize the system. You calculated earlier. Uh, your I is calculated. I is equal to eight point four four. This one is what you required. Isn't it? But you have this one initial, I initial. So, to, this is this one is not required. Sorry, this one is calculated. Put it here calculated. Uh, this one calculated. Put it calculated. This one calculated. This one initial or original. So, you require another 4.4 to ensure that the system will run steadily. Or perhaps yeah, sometimes they provide this one more. For example, yeah, initially we have 12 kilogram meter square. So what would be the mass modulation should be added or removed? So you need to remove 4.44 kilogram meter square also. You understand me? But in the, in the actual thing, in practical, it is very difficult to remove part of your, uh, what you call it, internal, uh, part of your mass moment initial. It is easy for us to add up. That is impractical. Of course, in the exam or in any problem, you can be also asked to remove or to add. Huh? Is that clear? Is that clear or not? No one, no one, 
Thank you, yeah, Ahmad. Thank you, Ko. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Aisha. So sometimes you'll be asked to remove, sometimes you have to ask to add. But in practical, it is easy for us as engineers to add something rather than to remove. Eh? Okay, I'm going to go back to the uh, thing that we stopped earlier uh, on uh, calculating this. Uh, This one. Question number two. Uh, I will provide you. Uh, I will provide you this one. This working my working template. Yeah. Okay. What the question asks us here is. Or oh, do you have here? I think you also have here. Uh -huh. Alhamdulillah, you have here. Yeah? Okay. okay, now the figure show the variation with time of required, of torque required on the driving machine, a driving shaft of a machine doing one cycle operation. This one is belong to one cycle. So what does, what does it say uh, uh, next? Uh, to product a specific to produce a specific product, we do not know what type of product eh, they are dealing with. Yeah, so the shaft is direct coupled to a motor. So again, this is motor drive machine. With exit a constant torque, they provide you look at a constant torque three hundred newton meter and run at mean speed of one thousand four hundred. So they also always they only provide you this one. This one now is three hundred. Now, the mean given. Before we dismiss today, I'm going to, you know, uh, make a conclusion. Uh, if you in, if you if you interested to know, um, what is the different? How do you know? Uh, uh, how do you know whether the question is correct or not? Uh? Okay, three hundred newton meter. They provide here yeah? the total mass moment initial. Uh, this one, look at here. Yeah? The total mass moment initial of rotating part. Remember, I explained earlier of motor and machine. We have eleven kilogram meter square. To minimize the fraction of speed, a uh, flywheel, then you, you add flywheel. So the motor, you have also, uh, you also have a flywheel. So you must have I system. Remember, I system. Now we're dealing with I system. So these are all I system. Uh, determine the total number of product in one hour. Look at it, one hour. It is not one minute as what you have earlier. The next thing is define the maximum and also minimum speed of the flywheel. Okay, uh, Alhamdulillah, I also provide you the solution. Uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, yeah, I also provide the solution. Because uh, some of you are uh, not, not interested to buy the book, yeah, so that's why I provide the solution so that you don't have to, uh, you know, copy from the screen because very difficult for you to copy from screen. Eh? So, uh, total number product produces in one hour is this one, this equation. So, this equation is not a very fixed equation. Yeah, this is not a fixed solution. So you have 3,600 because we're dealing for, for one hour. Earlier was only 60 because one minute. So it depending on how many hours or how many you know, time taken to, to produce a product. Typically, if the in the actual thing, if you are, you are, you are, you are acting or you, you're working as the line engineer or production engineer or manufacturing engineer, you're basically counting for one week or one month, for example. Then you know. Know how many product produced in one year, for example. Yeah, so um, you have the equation. This one, uh, remember this one. This equation to define the T mean, isn't it? So T motor and T machine. This one is the motor. We do not know. So put it here. The motor here. Motor. So this one all by motor. Correct by motor. You have this one. is three hundred. Just now they provide three hundred. Isn't it? So you have 300 multiplied by theta. This one theta is equal to omega t. The reason is why I put it here because this one is in second. So you need to convert it to, to, the, to become radian multiplied by omega. Multiply by the omega here. So the next thing is to calculate what will be the graph given. Uh, this one. The graph given will be 
the blue line this one is from the machine this one is from the motor so the machine the whole thing you calculate this one you'll be getting as and t will be seven second then three thousand by six uh, by seven you have five hundred and fourteen point three so you have five one for product produced in one hour Okay, uh, it's not very difficult, isn't it? The next one, this one. This one is to define, uh, what is the next question just now? The next question is to define what? The next question is to define the maximum and minimum speeds, which is N max and also N min. Remember this one? You start with equation. So what will be the equation? Alpha, alpha is equal to n max minus by n min divided by n. Min. You know to know what is the alpha. So start with beta e is equal to i alpha omega min square is equal to e max minus by e min and this one is coming from your what energy analysis of course you need t min in your energy analysis so we go back here you found that you have t min then you cross the line so the area will be coming this one a new area a new area a new area another last one because we are dealing with uh, a motor drive machine so any area below t mean will be considered this one your t mean yeah t mean be considered as positive above negative it's the opposite way from what we calculated in the internal combustion engine then you start doing this one and of course we're in a slanting line here yeah? we need to use what you need to use similar triangle. This one, don't worry. I give you every every info that need to be used in your calculation. So you have a small portion here is 1.5. Then you start calculating in the area. Again, A equal to U, this one. B equal to the whole thing. You'll be getting as such 800. We do not know yet whether it's maximum or minimum. Uh, the triangle here, overshooting from T min above T min, you'll be getting this one 350. And this one, we calculated this one, you have 600. This one, you have zero. And this one also, zero. So if you look at very careful, yeah, this one is maximum because you have 800 omega. This one is minimum because we have zero. Uh, okay, I, my equation is, my equation is, Look at it, my equation. You understand this one? You you basically understand what we've been talking here. If in energy analysis, analysis, yeah, you have the, uh, uh, you know, you have U is equal to, sorry, if the energy and CR stop losing, if the in analysis, yeah, you have u plus zero. You have another one, u minus one eighty. You have another one, u plus zero. Okay. Then you have another one. Uh, sorry, put it only three. Enough. So now you tell me, you tell me, you tell me where will be your maximum and minimum. So this one now becoming E minimum. This one will be becoming E maximum. So even though it is zero, it can also be maximum as you have negative here. Do you understand your notes? Do you understand that? Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, yeah. So it doesn't matter, yeah. This if you have a number again, you let's say you have a uh, uh, you uh, minus by 200 is it so this one is not the 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 
minimum and this one is not maximum. Zero is still maximum. This one becoming me minimum. This one is no longer minimum. Okay, so we have to check the equation very, very careful. So if you do that one, you'll be getting the next one. The next slide will be, you know, you have the omega. This one is the beta. beta. Then you put everything in the equation, you'll be getting what will be the maximum and minimum of the of the uh, 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 speech. So my equation, another equation, my equation here, next question is, can we, can we, can we use the shortcut we can we use the shortcut we alone yes or no cannot why why cannot earn two area because you have two area overshooting the mean okay thank you sir. that that means that you really really understand so now next question if the equation asks about this one, yeah. If the equation asks about now, you have just now t is equal to seven second for one cycle. Now calculate the preparation time of the system. So tell me what is the preparation time of the system? Anyone? So T prepare equal to anyone? Anyone? Two seconds. Yes, thank you. Here you have one, three, four, five. The whole this one is seven. So this one is two. So this is the equation. Okay. The other thing is coming from the same uh, results. Yeah, coming from the same uh, equation. Yeah. The other one is the eyes. The I uh, one minute going to clean up the whole thing now. The other one is the I system. Remember, yeah, the I system is equal to the I rotating part. Remember this one rotating part plus I fly. The rotating part they provide you as this one. The I flywheel you need to calculate the I flywheel is equal to m flywheel k flywheel square, which is coming from they provide you as two hundred and also two point seven. Understand you're not class. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to the next equation. I'm going to pick up a equation that very rare. Huh? Uh, look at equation, for example, on P uh, on page on uh, problem number four. Uh, number four, yeah, number four. This one. This one is belong to internal combustion engine. Okay, number four. Yep. The turning moment diagram of for of a four stroke engine. So what is a uh, type of engine? Four stroke engine. If I can draw here, this one is a four stroke engine. What do you understand by four stroke engine? What do you understand by four stroke engine? What do you understand by four stroke engine? Anyone? Two revolution correct. Seven twenty correct or seven twenty is correct or or what? Four, five. Okay, then if you, you read the equation, you will stop at four, five. So this one is belong to one, 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 one cycle. Okay, or if you do not understand about this one, you keep reading the graph. 
reading the graph is read how the graph you know flow for example this one constant should shoot down to 1620 constant back if shoot up to 2000 then you go back here then it will be start all over the play all over again isn't it this one eh? all over again so this one will not be counted in your calculation so if you counter this one if you take this one in your calculation your uh, energy analysis will not equal to zero if you take this one your energy analysis will not equal to zero Okay, but if you have two complete, uh, two complete what, two complete cycle, you begin zero, but you have to what, you have to divide it by two because you are considering about eight pi rather than only four pi. Okay, now next, uh, if the crank run at one hundred kilo at one hundred RPM and the fraction of speed is not exceed two percent, so your alpha is equal to two divided by one hundred equal to zero point zero. Calculate the power generated by the engine and the mass moment of inertia of the flywheel should be fitted to the system. So you need power generated to the system. So power is equal to one T mean omega mean. What is the omega mean? This one given you omega mean. You need the T mean. And what will be the uh, 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 mass moment inertia? Again, use this equation I alpha omega mean power of two. Okay. Okay, is equal to E max minus by E. So this one from the energy analysis. So now let's let's try eh, together. So we want to define what we want to have to define T mean first, isn't it? So how to define T mean? How to define T mean? So I'm going to clear this one to define T mean. by t theta of the input the input now the engine put it the engine is equal to t theta of the output or the resistance resistance so the input engine is basically the up oh, basically from the graph so you look at here the graph so you need to calculate the whole area from the engine it's not very difficult isn't it this one is what uh four negative four thirty five this one will be six negative six twenty five the top one will be three two seventy five this one will be the small portion here is six twenty five correct so you have negative so you have negative here uh, you have negative so you have negative put it here as negative um, negative uh, 430 negative 435 minus by 1625 minus by what we had just earlier uh, i don't have a solution with me yeah uh, if you want to get the result very fast you have to help me out here yeah. You have uh, 16, you have another one, 625 is equal to three areas, isn't it? How many area? Oh, three area. One, two, three area. Another one, 435. 435, 16. Then you have uh, plus 370 plus, this one plus. Plus the top one is uh, three two seventy five minus by we have the small portion that one is six twenty five is equal to t mean multiply by what multiply by what t mean multiply by t mean multiply by point thank you five five so you have t mean. This one, this calculation, is belong to, and this one, is belong to. It's not very difficult, yeah. It's not very, difficult. very interesting, one. Yeah? Very interesting. You have the team in. 
Okay. So one you be getting or one you get the team in. So the next procedure is not ready vehicles. The next procedure will be um, we are going to we are going to look for power. So power now is equal to power is equal to team in that you calculated earlier by the omega. Then we have the power here in watt or can also in kilo watt. The next one, uh, mass moment is so beta e, or perhaps we can put the i is equal to beta e divided by alpha omega mean power of two or equal to e max minus by e mean divided by this one is alpha omega mean. Next meeting, inshallah, I will provide you question from the last semester test and also exam. Huh? I think I don't uh, I don't know whether I provide you notes. Yeah, uh, yeah this one. So this one is the uh, test uh, 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 years ago. This one also test years ago. So uh, inshallah, next meeting, I'm going to explain to you these two, these two problems. Yeah? Uh, now let's focus on this one. So you have I. So first is to define what be the E max by E main. And of course, this one is from where? From your energy analysis. Alpha, they provide you alpha, isn't it? Alpha now is equal to 0 0.02. Omega mean also power. So the, 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 the only parameter which is unknown now is the E max by E main by doing the energy analysis or beta E perhaps, right? In other words, it's beta E. So you go back to the figure. Well, could anyone tell me where do your T mean now? What is your value for T mean now? So that I can put it here so that we can, you know, together calculate what be the uh, energy. And so if you get energy is equal to zero or can, can uh, conserve, so it means that your calculation is correct. It's very easy to do, to check, yeah? So 150, thank you, Ng, yeah? So you have 150, thank you, Ng, 150. So I'm going to draw a line here, 150. So put it here, 150. Do not scale, yeah? This one, because 3,000, one is half, yeah? So your next one will be intersection point. This is the intersection point. So the new area to be concerned now is this one. Below T mean, above T mean, this one below. So the notation perhaps we can put this one is A, B, C, N. And again, it's not very difficult, isn't it? How to check this one? So because we are dealing with in, uh, with uh, this, this one, the internal combustion engine, is it? We're dealing with internal combustion engine. Can anyone tell me what do we understand when we are dealing with internal combustion engine? So the above area will be considered as one. Anyone? This positive. Thank you. This is positive. This one be negative. So this one all negative portion, positive and negative. So this one is not very difficult. We have, uh, if I can put it here, yeah, this one is 150 plus 450, you'll be getting 580. So this one is 585, right? Plus this one, yeah, this one is 150 by another one is 660. This one is what, 150, you have one seven seven one one seven seven five. This one is negative. Yes, no. The other one, this one, the top one, you have a uh, three three two seventy minus by uh, one fifty. You be getting what? Uh, three two seventy minus by one fifty. You'll be getting 3120. This one is 3125. The small here, the last line here, you have 150 by this one. You'll be getting this one. What do we have? 150. This one will be 670. Correct? Oh, sorry, it's not 670. How can we be 670? It become one. It become. It become 770. So now, in a simple calculation, you take this one, you, you you take this one minus plus and minus. Does you get zero or not? Simple calculation, simple mathematics. 
you get of course you have to do as normal procedure yeah so get you get zero not plus hello just ignore the part because part is a constant parameter anyway you get zero not this one minus this one is minus minus this one is plus yes isn't it so then it is correct then it is correct. that is how to check whether it's correct or not on the other hand before we move to the actual calculation on the other hand can we use the the what you call it the as, as shortcut way can we use the shortcut way here can we use the shortcut way here yes why we have only one check whether it's correct or not so beta e so this one is your shortcut way so your beta e now is equal one is equal to 320 uh, sorry, three, uh, three, what, three, two, seven, oh, five, minus by, this one is one, fifty, but then you have this one, is three, one, twenty, five is your beta e, so that's one counter check. So let us now do the actual calculation. So let e is equal to u, b is equal to, what do you have just now? B is equal to the whole thing will be B, yeah. The whole thing will be will be uh, um, uh, five eighty one seven seven O. Oh, so this one five uh, U plus this one is U plus eh, sorry U minus uh, U minus five eighty plus one seven seven five isn't it it become u minus what do you have this one five eighty this one is five eighty plus one seven seven you have two three thank you two three five oh correct yeah two two three five oh five next c is equal to u minus two three Pi o pi plus by the top one will be uh three one two o isn't it three one two o so three one two o pi so what do we have here we have u plus seven seven o correct <coughs> thank you seven seven o pi so at d now is equal to u plus seven seven o pi minus by seven seven o pi it become u plus zero then it is correct. So you put it here as energy is conserved in full sentences. Yeah, in full sentences. Then you start collecting what will be the maximum and also minimum. So the maximum minimum will be lines and so this one is zero. This was negative. So this one be your e minimum. Maximum will be above zero. This one is d e x. So your beta e now. Is equal to e max minus by e min is equal to you have u plus seven seven o pi minus by this one is uh, uh, minus by u minus by two three five o pi. Can we get it correctly or not? What do we have for that one? Two three five o correct or not? Could you please copy it for me, class? Thank you. Yes, thank you. So it is the same as what we have shortcut we. Shortcut we just now. Beta E is equal to 3, 1, 2, o, 5 also. Same as above. Okay, the next one is one uh, to define I. <clears throat> so I will be equal to beta E divided by alpha omega mean power of two. Alpha is 0 0.02 divided multiplied by 2 pi multiplied by uh, what is the uh, what is the uh, oh, uh, what is the omega just now? Omega is running with the speed of uh, 100 so it's 100 so put it in 100 divided by 60 not to point the square 
So you have this one in kilogram meter square. <coughs> okay, it's not very difficult, isn't it? An equation. The next one you can do on your own. Again, uh, you can try to start uh, thinking about doing uh, this one is turning one diagram for the engine. Look at here. You have two stroke engine, two stroke engine. Then you have two, five. Because you are dealing with two stroke engine. Uh, uh, let me let me let me find the thing that uh, it's not common in the uh, in this question huh? uh, i think um look at here number 13. so could anyone tell me before we do anything could could, could anyone tell me by looking at the graph by looking at the graph we are talking about punching machine yeah so the graph now tell me the graph belong to machine or motor anyone the graph this one eh? the graph is mean the given graph machine thank you belong to machine it's not belong to the motor because it keeps fluctuating okay now tell me tell me also how many cycle How many cycle now? Two cycles, correct, two cycle. So where is one cycle stop? Where is one cycle stop? At one point, it's correct. It's also correct. Huh? So it will stop at here. It's not very difficult, isn't it? So that is the, you have to read the equation and you also have to read the graph. So as this one will stop, they provide you want mean torque and, and power of motor. So you have to look for mean. How? To calculate every given area. And then you make the motor graph. This one will be constant. Equate these two area under the graph. Then you have this here. So now I'm going to... Um, uh, to I'm not going to do this one the whole thing yeah I'm going to just to move over and just to share with you how to uh, you know uh, calculate this one so look at the next one the electric motor generate constant torque look at the number 15 the electric motor generate this number 15 15 yeah generate torque phi uh, 50 newton meter so the 50 newton meter will lie between this one's name cross this one is fifth um and the speed is the 300 rpm revolution per minute is rpm yeah it is used to accelerate the punching machine to produce um uh, to produce a product the torque variation during the process is shown and given this one fine the total mass of ammunition given as 10 kilogram per meter look at here the total mass mom initial rotating the punching machine and the flywheel uh, so you have to read the question very careful so you don't have to find the flywheel itself is it? so this one 10 kilogram meter square is basically i system this one is uh, already i i system determine the following number of product in one hour so now tell me how to get number of product n is equal to one hour is 3600 divided by divided by one divided by anyone divided by divided by by 10 thank you you will have 36 number of products what is that product we do not know it is not our concern and our interest so what will be the maximum minimum speed during one cycle operation um, so again you have to look for n max and n min before you do this one you have to look for beta a so now let's think about beta a so the beta a will be the new the new area this one and the small portion here and this one also and then the top one. So the uh, the concern area will be this one A. Put it here, small portion B. This one will be C. This one will be D. This one will be. Of course, you need to do the this one. 
I'm going to uh, share with you a bit. Yeah, this one we have to do the interpolation. This one similar triangle, similar triangle to find what to find BC. Find this similar triangle because we are dealing we are dealing with motor drive machine. So any area above the mean will be considered as one. Above the mean will consider as any area above the mean will consider as. Anyone? Negative. Thank you. Eh? Negative. Below will be considered as positive. Then you can do on on your own. So uh, before we we um, we close our session today, uh, this is going to be the last one. Then I'm going to give you how to check uh, whether the equation is correct or not. Remember that. Yeah. How to check whether the equation is correct or not. Look at problem number sixteen. Again, this one is what uh, power generate, generated uh, by power source, the power source operate machine. We do not know what type of power source this one. It's not coming from motor which doesn't tell us now. But it seems that this one is machine. It could be running by the uh, engine, for example. We do not know. Yeah, we don't know yet. Yeah, uh, it could be uh, running by some other power source. It doesn't doesn't matter. Generator, for example, doesn't matter. What does matter now? This one is belong to the machine. This one is the machine. Okay, uh, and the constant torque they provide the constant torque is twenty newton. So the twenty newton will 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 not this one zero. This one supposed to be here. Yeah, will fall here. Twenty. So my equation is my equation is how many cycle do we have in in your graph? The presented graph or the given graph. How many cycle we have this one? No. M cycle, two cycle, yes, eh? two cycle. So where will be the one cycle end or stop? For one cycle, where will be the one cycle stop? 0 0.3, yes, correct. It will stop here. So you will have two, two more cycles stop there. So look at here, this is the conclusion. So after all, we will start doing the same parameter. So now is our concern. This is the unknown, correct? Unknown. And it's not unknown, eh? unknown. Okay, now my theory, how to check the equation correct? Correct. Or otherwise. Otherwise mean sometimes lack of info. Sometimes wrong. Lack of info or sometimes wrong. So you have you've been given two parameters, two turning moment diagram. You have a graph here, very fine graph. This one can be, can be, uh, not can be uh, both for both application one internal combustion or also in in motors. Look at listen a very careful class. If you find that both here, the x and also the y, this one is the x axis. It has to It's not the x axis. Sorry, yeah, guys. This one is the y axis. This one is the x axis. If the y axis and the x axis all given, all given, yeah. So meaning you need to calculate the mean. This one all given or complete. You need to calculate the mean. For example, go back here. This one all give all given. Yeah, this one, yeah, all given. You need to calculate the mean. You need to calculate the mean. Just now what we did earlier. 
in our calculation this one isn't it uh, no this one we need to calculate timid because are all given correct okay but when you found that any graph graph same graph different perspective now this one is y axis this one is x axis so if you found you know you have you found unknown parameter in y or x axis then t mean must otherwise otherwise can be solved go back to the figure go back to the here so they provide you one just now this one yeah a very good example as what we have here where are you where are you this one isn't it you have the unknown t they must provide you constant top otherwise if this one's not given this also not given so you cannot solve and perhaps the equation is not correct you understand me or not class here for example all are given so you need to define team in this one you need to calculate team in okay so that is the conclusion to check whether the equation is correct or not so by looking or by checking all the parameters if the parameter is like either x or y axis so they, they must provide you teaming teaming must be given this one <clears throat> this one you need to calculate the teaming if they provide you everything okay so that's about it the conclusion um any question uh, before we end our session it's about uh, uh to uh, no, to reach uh 9 50. I, I believe you have another class to attend any question? No question, Ahmed. Thank you, Ahmed. Anyone else? So, any anything that you feel down about it, class? So, uh, go back to this one. Yeah, if you find that any equation, typically, yeah, typically for typically for uh, equation like what you do, you don't learn in class. For example, yeah, this one. Uh, uh for example this one is 30 31 32 which is not uh, in syllabus it's not this is in, in syllabus yeah but not in topics yeah so 31 30, 32 and also 30 to 32 will not be part of your uh, tutorial or assignment yeah? so you just can leave it uh, the question if you want to do up to you it's a bonus to you yeah because the reason is why for uh, for problem 31 32 and 30 30 to 31 to 32 is basically the actual problem in the real in the real world of engineering typically coming from very various uh, input talk eh? okay if there's no question uh, we reach up uh, we reach at 9 50 um, so i really really hope that you understand the topics uh, and the time that been given for two hours beneficial to you so the next thing will be of course i'll be providing you another assignment this one a group assignment uh, next meeting inshallah tomorrow and uh, then i'm going to i'm going to what explain about or perhaps uh, you know uh, uh, try to share with you this one uh, question coming from the past exam and also test i will provide you another another uh, you know, question later on yeah so uh, thank you class thank you for being me for those who have respond thank you very much for responding uh, all the top question and be seeing again shall tomorrow take care take your uh, take uh, stay safe stay, stay home stay safe, safety uh, and stay good health thank you class so with that i end my session with assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh see you again in kishal tomorrow and thank you and uh, have a nice day